Hey there folks, back at you with another video. Today we're working on a 2006 Chevy Uplander uh, with the 3.5 in it. It's got a bad um, power steering pump, so we're going to replace that and I'm going to show you how to do that step by step. So yeah, please like and subscribe, helps the channel out a lot, don't cost nothing. And uh, let's get past the intro, let's get into this. Like I said, a 2006 Chevy Uplander. Uh, power steering pump is bad. It whines a lot. Uh, you pull the cap off, it's got tons of pressure in there. So, um, that power steering pump is bad. So, I'm going to show you how to replace that. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to put in a list uh, right here uh, to show you in um, which... Uh, this is a 3.5 so I'll show you a list in uh, in what vehicle Chevy put this in so basically you know will be the same uh, same thing so yeah let's get busy here we go first thing we need to do is uh, evacuate the fluids out of this little reservoir and I use something like this for that uh, you can also use a large syringe with a with a hose on it or something or another and then these are some of the tools I, uh, you know, you're know, you going to need. So either use an electric ratchet or a regular ratchet. I don't know what all you have. Um, it's not too hard. It's actually fairly simple. So, But yeah, already got all the fluids out. So I already done all that. And next thing we need to do is uh, remove the serpentine belt. And let's get you situated right up in there you can put a 3 8 ratchet in there and um, release the belt tensioner so let's let's do that and I'll be right back all right so we got the ratchet on there gonna lift up on this thing slide it off the pulley right there and then don't let it fall back just easily you know, hold, hold your ratchet in place and let the tensioner relax. There you go. I just leave it hang there. So now we got, now we can take the tensioner off. Right here you got a picture of how the belt's supposed to go if you ever wonder. So, all right. Uh, I use a little swivelly on this. And there is a bolt right there. Try and do all this with one hand, guys. There we go. <laughs> So there's one, and then there's another one up here, and then there's another one down there. So I'm going to take those out, and I'll be right back. All right, got the bolts out. I left this one in here, because now we got to break, break these lines loose right here. They're this line right here, that's a 16 mil, and for this one here, you need a... Uh, just a regular, you know, some regular pliers for that. That's where I got this little one for. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Make sure I keep the studio lighting in place, huh? So, just move it back like that. Make sure she's loose. Look at that. And then down there, that takes a 16 mil. So I've got a long one <clears throat> to break it loose and then uh, the stubby one to uh, loosen it all the way up. So here we go. 
it's just going to take a little bit of finessing it's you know there's just not a lot of room there I want you got to I already broke this one loose off camera so and then most of the time you can just get it off by hand like that can you see that right there and slide that fitting back and take that last bolt out that I just left in there makes it easier to break the lines loose That's how they look like. You pop this one out of the reservoir right there. Let's see if I can get you guys set up here. Um, bear with me here one minute. All right. This hose might be a little bit of a pain. But while you're shimmying this stuff loose, make sure this bottom line is popped out. There we go. You should be able just to just lift it right up. There you go. There she is. Look at that. All right. I'll be right back. All right. So here she is. Now you can see the bolt holes. You got to move the wheel around a little bit. Uh, you're going to need a uh, uh, power steering pump pulley puller. Uh, you can rent something like this, like, you know, like your uh, auto parts store or whatever, and then you can pop that thing right off. And then it uh, depends on if you buy a new uh, power steering pump uh, with just the pump. I just bought the pump. Right here. So that's how that looks like. So uh, I just bought the pump. I'm gonna have to move the, tra uh, the tank over. You can buy them with or without a tank. So that's up to you. So yeah, put that all back together. Uh, transfer the pulley and the tank over and then uh, mount it right back into place again. Uh, the only thing you might have to fight with a little bit is, uh, is this here hose and, uh, and take your time on this fitting here make sure you don't cross uh, thread it while you put it all back together so yeah that's that it's that simple so that's it uh please like and subscribe it helps the channel out a lot and don't cost nothing and uh, we're going to catch you all on the next one peace out